In this video, we're going to have a look at the split part command. We're going to use this command to take a solid body and turn it into two individual parts. So here we have a part of uh, geometry that I've previously split. So this is the end result of what we're going to get when we split the two, split the single body into two separate solids. So here is um, the main body section. And then if we turn this off, turn the other one on, and here is the secondary part. So these parts perfectly link, connect to each other seamlessly. So if we just perform a slice, we can see how the parts go together. I mean, the exact geometry moldability is irrelevant at this point. This is just, just a tutorial just to show you how to split, split parts. So you can see they go together. Okay, so let's start a new file and I'll show you how to split the parts. Okay, so here is a solid, which is just a, a one piece item. So if we go over to the tree, we've got one solid. We do also have a face, but the surface was just used in the construction of this piece. So let's just get rid of the, get rid of this part. We're not interested in the surface. So now we've just got one solid. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the geometry from the solid and I'm going to bunch it up, put it into a folder, just so it's separate from everything we do from this point forward. So let's call this solid. And let's maybe also add the deleted surface that we used to create this part. Okay, so what we're left with is a sketch, sketch number six. And I've pre-drawn this and I'm gonna I'm gonna use this sketch to help create some surface geometry for our, for our split. Just show you the sketch that I've put together in case you wanted to have a look and try this for yourself. Um the sketch is on the front plane and it's at the center of the body. Okay, so we'll come back to the sketch, but let's start creating some surface geometry to split this part. So we're gonna do an offset. We're gonna take the base. We're gonna offset into the part. So outside we're gonna go by five mil in the other direction. So let's switch the direction. It's going inwards. And the surface at the moment has disappeared within the solid. So let's get rid of the solid. Now let's untrim. So untrim surface, select the geometry we've offset, just going to completely untrim it. So we're left with a rectangle surface. So this is uh, useful for the base. And now we need to create, create some geometry for the sides. So we're going to offset, you see I'm offsetting a surface here. Or a series of surfaces. We need all these faces. We go into the geometry once because we want to intersect. So I'm going to go in by three mil. So I've got some offset geometry. You can't quite see it now. So let's turn the solid off. And this geometry is internal now. So this is this is offset into the solid. Okay. So now now I can use the sketch. So I'm going to extrude from the sketch outward from the center of the solid. So I could go for a blind extrude, but I'm going to go to up to up to vertex. So we click up to vertex, click on a vertex point and we will extrude up to a vertex. Now I also want to add a taper. So I'm going to add some outward draft by five degrees. Let's check with the solid body, how this outward draft is going to look. Yeah, I know I'm avoiding the edge of this geometry and that's exactly what I wanted to do. So the outward draft is useful here. Okay, so I've got three surfaces now. So I've got my base, I've got my draft, and then I've got my body in offset. So now I can start trimming and uh, knitting surfaces. 
all these surfaces we're going to combine and when finished we're going to use them to split the part so so i'm going to trim so i'm using one part to trim the offset is the part i'm going to trim back and i want to keep this geometry here in the middle so i've performed my first trim now i want to use the part that i've trimmed to trim back my draft i want to keep this bit highlighted in yellow so actually let's do the base first so we're going to use the base to trim back all the geometry because we don't need any of this other than the base so the base is the trim tool and we're going to remove all the other selections okay now we've got a couple more trims so we're going to trim this bit back at the back so let's use the insert we're going to trim as you can see the purple area away okay now we need to trim this base get rid of this base section so or a part of the base section so we're going to knit these two side bodies we're going to merge them so they're now one surface so we've only got two surfaces in total and now with these two two surfaces merged we can now get rid of this chunk of material we want to at the bottom so let's go trim surface use our new surface and we can trim this purple area at the base keep the yellow area trim the purple and there we've got some geometry removed from the base now i want to merge out all the surfaces now so we're using the knit surface feature again but everything i've done now i want to multiply by t because my solid part is um, symmetrical so i want i want my surface to be symmetrical as well so let's just trim back my surface by the front plane First of all, I'm just going to change the color so you can see the difference between the surface and the solid geometry. Just select copying the coloring. No, no, no. Copy it to the surface. So my surface is green, my solid is gray. And we want to trim the surface by the front plane which is right through the middle of the solid so i'm going to use the front i'm using the selecting the front plane as my trim tool trimming the back edge now i've got half of my geometry and now i can mirror mirror my entire surface to make it symmetrical selecting the mirror feature using the front plane to mirror and then i'm going to select my surface geometry so surface trim seven is what i'm looking for that's the final piece of geometry so let's select it in the bodies to mirror section and i want to merge i want to knit the surfaces so i'm going to pre-knit okay so i've got symmetrical geometry now Okay, so let's turn my entire surface green. Just right click, paste, paste it on the mirror. So everything, everything green surface wise. So now I have everything I need, need now surface wise to trim my solid part. So let's go ahead and perform my split. My split part so i'm going to go into direct editing and i'm going to go split so i need my trim so my mirror is my is my trim i'm going to cut and now solidworks is searching for all possible solids that it can create from the trim so it's found two so it's found two that i can select 
one and two. And I'm fairly happy with that. I could consume and so anything cut could actually be removed, but I don't need to. I want to keep all my all my solids. So let's just turn the surfaces off. And I do now have a fully trimmed solid. So let's just change the color of one of the solids so you can see that there are indeed two solids. All right, let's just change the color of this body. Let's go for the finished part color. And there you are. So I have my I have two solids now. And this can be quite quite a useful um, tool for when you're working with some fairly complicated geometry. Um, just creating one solid and then just trimming trimming bits away using the split tool. So just performing a, a cut just so that you can see. I mean you know, this section view you can see I've got two indeed two different parts. And that's it. That's how you use the use surfaces to split a solid part.